Are you looking for an alternative to Windows 11? If you're like many Windows 10 users, you might be looking at Windows 11 with a bit of hesitation. Maybe your hardware isn't officially supported, or perhaps you're just not a fan of the changes. And if you're already on Windows 11, maybe you're finding it's not quite living up to your expectations. There might just be a solution. Stick around. Well, today, we're diving into a very interesting project called Anduin OS. It's an Ubuntu-based Linux distribution that's specifically designed to offer a familiar look and feel, heavily inspired by Windows 11. The big questions are, is it any good? And could this be a genuine alternative for Windows users looking for something new yet comfortable? Or Maybe you're looking for an alternative because your copy of Windows is not activated and you can't move to Windows 11. Well, today's sponsor can fix that. Are you using an unregistered version of Windows 11? Then you need to check out Keyspan.com. Keyspan offers a wide range of products including Windows 11, Windows 10, and even older versions like Windows 7. Need Office software? They got you covered with keys for Office 2019 and Office 2021. And here's the best part, you can save big with exclusive coupon codes by using my code RK250 to get 50% off all Windows series. That means you can get Windows 11 Pro for less than $20. But wait, there's more. For Microsoft Office, use my code RK262 to get a massive 62% off. Buying is super easy. Just add your chosen product key to your cart, apply the coupon code, and pay securely via PayPal or credit card. You'll receive your genuine activation key in no time. Once you have your product key, go back to the activation page, click on change product key, enter the product key you just purchased, and click activate. Be sure to check out keysfan.com. So, what exactly is Anduin OS? At its core, Anduin OS is built on the solid foundation of Ubuntu one of the most popular and well-supported Linux distributions out there. But where it stands out is its desktop environment. It uses a customized version of GNOME that has been themed and tweaked to closely resemble the user interface of Windows 11. You'll notice the centered taskbar, the familiar looking start menu, and even the Windows aesthetics are designed to make Windows users feel right at home. The developers are aiming to ease the transition for people migrating from Windows to Linux, especially those who appreciate the Windows workflow but want the benefits of an open source system. Recent versions like Anduin OS 1.3 are based on recent Ubuntu releases, meaning you get up-to-date software and good hardware support. Let's talk about some of the key features and my first impressions after installing and using Anduin OS. Installation is pretty straightforward, much like installing Ubuntu itself. Once you boot in, the resemblance to Windows 11 is immediately apparent. It's clean, modern, and importantly, it feels quite responsive, even on moderately specced hardware. The developers boast a smaller ISO size compared to full Ubuntu, which is a plus. However, it's not a one-for-one -one Windows clone. It looks like Windows, but it is Linux underneath. This means some things will be different. You won't be running your .exe Windows applications natively without workarounds like Wine or virtualization, which can be a mixed bag for some people. But for web browsing, office tasks, coding, and media consumption, it's more than capable. Let's go set it up real quick and kick the tires. And the cool thing is you don't have to make any changes at all to your computer, just like other Linux distros, we can set it up on a flash drive, run it and use it directly from the flash drive without making any changes to our current setup. Let's go. Okay, so first up, we'll head over to Anduin OS. Go ahead and click this link right here. Go ahead and come down here and click this download button. There are three versions. The one in the middle is the more stable version, but the one to the far right is the most recent. So I'm going to go ahead and download that one. I'm gonna click on the HTTP download and you'll see that download start in the top right hand corner of my screen. And as you can see, it is only 1.9 gigabytes. And now that we have that downloaded, I'm gonna jump over here to old Rufus. 
I'm going to click this first link right here. I'm going to scroll down here and grab the portable version. That's the one I prefer. And please do not click in this box anywhere. Just click the X and close it out. There is always one person that clicks that link, downloads some stuff, and then come tells me that Rufus has malware. No, it doesn't. You just clicked on some ads. Okay, now that both of those are in our download folder, I'm going to go ahead and run Rufus. I'll let it check for updates, making sure that my flash drive is selected. I will go ahead and select that ISO that we just downloaded. And now I'm going to change my partition scheme to GPT, but typically Rufus will select the right one for you. Go ahead and just click yes here. And then I'm going to click start. And you'll go ahead and click OK here. And I'm going to click OK once again. I'll skip through this till it's done. There we go. Now Rufus is done. I'm going to go ahead and reboot my computer and boot from that flash drive. For me, that's going to be the delete key that's going to take me into my UEFI BIOS settings. And then I'm going to come over here to my boot menu. And I'm going to select the last one there listed because that is my flash drive. And I'm going to select this first option here to install Anduin OS. But now we're not actually installing this on our computer. We're just setting it up on the flash drive. So you're not making any changes to your computer. And it installs pretty quick, even on this system that I'm using, which is unsupported hardware, according to Windows. And here we are. And we have a desktop that looks very familiar to Windows. We have a menu right here that looks very familiar. It's just like Windows Start menu. And we'll take a look over here at the clock and calendar. Pretty self-explanatory. Got some volume controls here. Pretty self-explanatory. And I've got my network here. I'm connected to a wired connection. And we'll take a look at this file explorer equivalent. And if you look over here to the left, you have home, recent, starred, network, documents, music, pictures, videos. Boy, does that look just like Windows File Explorer. We'll go back to our start menu. We've got some settings over here to the left. Network, Bluetooth, sound, power, appearance. You can change your theme. Default or dark theme. Change your background. And we've got all of our installed apps here. The camera, files, Firefox, web browser. This is all the stuff that's going to come standard with Anduin OS. This here is a system monitor. Let's check that out. That's pretty cool. You got your CPU usage, your memory, network, disk usage. Nice little built-in system monitor for resources. And if we click up here on processes, it looks very similar to the Windows processes. apps notifications this all looks very similar to windows and click on software updates not to be confused with the windows updates and we're all up to date let's check out all of the software that's available so we can look at our installed software we can also explore and look at any software that we want to download. And it's going to have all of the free and open source goodies that we are used to. A lot of which you can find on my channel. And we'll take a look up here at the search box and just search for a couple of common ones real quick. Like LibreOffice. Right here. You can download and get that set up. And how about some OBS Studio, which is what I'm using right now to record this. And how about some GIMP for those photo editing needs. And just simply search for what you're looking for and then download it right here from the software manager. I mean, anyone that's used Windows could definitely pick this up and run with it. 
And remember, a lot of applications, including Microsoft 365 Office applications, have a web-based version you can use with Linux. So who should consider Anduin OS? For Windows 10 users, with Windows 10 nearing its end of life for some, Anduin OS presents an interesting path. If your PC doesn't meet Windows 11 strict hardware requirements, Anduin OS could give your machine a new lease on life with a modern looking OS that still feels familiar. It's a way to stay secure and updated without a forced hardware upgrade or a jarring UI change. For Windows 11 users, if you've made the jump to Windows 11 but find yourself frustrated with certain aspects, maybe the ads, the unwanted bloat, or privacy concerns, Anduin OS offers an escape route without completely abandoning a comfortable user interface. It gives you that Windows-like aesthetic, but with the control and open nature of Linux. If your life revolves around specific Windows-only software that has no viable Linux alternative, or if you're not comfortable stepping outside the Microsoft ecosystem at all, then it might not be the right fit for you. But for general computing, web browsing, multimedia, office tasks, and a lot of development work, Anduin OS provides a fantastic user-friendly Linux experience that successfully lowers the barrier to entry for Windows users. It's one of the best Windows-like Linux distros I've seen in terms of visual fidelity while still being a capable OS. What do you think? Is Anduin OS something you'd consider? Have you tried it already? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you found value in this video, please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check out some of these other video suggestions. And as always, thank you for watching and until next time.